Congratulations on the purchase of your new FabArm shotgun. When you first receive your shotgun, you'll need to know how to assemble and disassemble your new gun, as well as clean and maintain it correctly. L4S Assembly When you receive your new gun, it will be in the case with the barrel and receiver separated. To assemble it, we need to unscrew the forend nut from the stock receiver forend group and slide off the forend. Note that the forend nut is still affixed on the forend. Next, unscrew the red colored barrel retaining cap. With the bolt forward, Position the barrel extension between the bolt and the inside of the receiver while ensuring the gas cylinder hanging on the barrel guides over the magazine tube extension and the gas piston. Note a light film of oil on the O-ring in the gas block will ease assembly. Next, move the barrel carefully to the rear until it seats inside the receiver. Note that there may still be a small gap between the rib and the receiver. Next. Tighten the barrel retaining cap firmly by hand. Now reinstall the forend and slide it backward until it stops approximately 3 mm from the frame. Then screw the forend cap down while guiding the forend toward the frame. To lock the action open, press the cutoff lever outward from the frame till you hear a click. Then the gun will lock back when opened on the next cycle. To close the action, Press the release button on the left side of the receiver. Now for maintenance and cleaning. First we'll have to disassemble the gun. Place the shotgun on safe and ensure that it is completely unloaded. With the bolt closed, unscrew the magazine cap and remove the forehand. Next, unscrew the red colored barrel retaining cap. Then, carefully remove the barrel by pulling it out of the receiver and remove the piston from the magazine tube. While holding the action bar back with your left hand, use the rim of an empty shell to carefully pry the cocking handle out and remove it. Next, slide the action bar group out of the gun and remove the bolt. Then, remove the spring from the magazine tube. With a pin punch, tap out the two trigger guard pins. And remove the trigger group from the frame. At this point, the gun is disassembled as far as necessary. Proper maintenance and cleaning of your shotgun will enhance the performance and extend the service life of your FabArm shotgun. Let's begin with the barrel. First, wet a patch with bore cleaning solvent and swab the inside of the bore by pushing the wet patch through from the chamber end of the barrel. If necessary, use a bronze brush to remove any heavy fouling. Then, clean the action bar. Wipe clean inside and out using solvent if necessary. Next, we'll clean the bolt. The bolt must be cleaned thoroughly. Use a good gun oil and bristle brush to clean it. To disassemble the bolt for cleaning, press the firing pin in and allow the retaining pin to drop out. This will allow the firing pin and spring to be removed and then the locking lug. Note when reassembling the bolt to be sure the firing pin retaining pin is installed from the bottom. Next, the piston and gas cylinder. Clean these parts with solvent and a patch to remove the powder and gas residues. Use caution not to dislodge or damage the O-ring in the gas block. Be sure to dry the parts before reassembly. Now the magazine tube. 
Wipe the magazine tube clean using a patch and solvent if necessary to remove residue from gas and powder. The magazine restriction plug is easily removed for cleaning. Slide out, wipe down, and reinstall. After cleaning, a light film of oil applied to the tube is acceptable. However, excess lubricant here can lead to function issues due to debris getting trapped in the film. Next, you'll want to clean the trigger group. First, wipe down the entire trigger group with a clean dry rag. Ensure all debris is removed. Next, lubricate the hammer spring plunger and the carrier dog. Avoid over lubrication. Be sure to maintain your shotgun with a thin coat of gun oil, barrel, frame, and magazine tube. Now that you have successfully cleaned your shotgun, it is time to reassemble it for use. First, put the recoil spring back in place on the magazine tube. Next, place the bolt assembly on the end of the action bar and be sure the bolt is seated down and captures the plunger. This will force the bolt forward and allow the locking lug to drop which ensures the barrel will fit later. Next, guide the assembly into the tracks on both sides of the receiver and snap the cocking handle into position. Test the bolt for movement, being sure the bolt returns forward under spring tension. Note the bolt handle will load on the front of the ejection port when at rest. Ease this down slowly to prevent marring the frame. Now the trigger group. First, check that the hammer is in the cock position and the safety is engaged. Then, reinstall the trigger group. Place the back of the group in the slot in the stock, then rotate into the gun while pulling the cutoff lever to the outside for clearance. When you reinstall the trigger group pins, note that the pins are different lengths. The front pin is longer than the rear pin. Also, the front pin should be installed from the left side, and the rear pin should be installed from the right. This will ensure the retaining springs do not get dislodged. Next, install the piston, and then the barrel. Note once again that a light film of oil on the o-ring in the gas block of the barrel will ease assembly. Now install the red barrel retaining cap and tighten it firmly by hand. This is a good time to lubricate the action bar and the inside of the barrel extension where the bolt rides. Four to five drops of oil on each side and in the barrel extension will work well. Now install the forend and screw the forend cap while guiding the forend toward the frame. Your shotgun is now properly cleaned, reassembled, and is ready for use. For more information on care and performance of your FabArm shotgun, visit us now at FabArmUSA.com.